So here we are in the garage of evil, standing in front of the foam cutting table that I made. And the reason why I'm taking this video is one of the members on Haunt Forum said, uh, you know, hey man, I just don't really see how this rig works and how it cuts foam and such. Uh, which is my mistake, because I just thought everyone had been exposed to this hot wire stuff. And, well, to be truthful with you, it wasn't that long ago that I had never seen one. So, uh, shame on me. Anywho, quick tour. Here is our power supply that Pete designed. Um, you can see that I actually stuck it in a plastic enclosure because it runs that cool. And it also has thermal protection on it, so it'll shut off if it gets too hot, which is a really nice safety feature. And you can see right here that we've got the hot wire strung between this little bow that I fabricated. Now, you can make this bow out of anything. You know, I just chose to weld one up out of steel stock because I was bored and had nothing else to do. Um, but there's no reason why you can't just source this right out of the box. Just scour Home Depot until you find something that'll work. We've insulated the wire using um, plastic anchor fittings, actually, because we don't want to touch this and energize the bow because then everything gets too hot and it just snaps. And you can see that I just run the guitar string up from the bottom where it has a little ball end. It locks into a hole at the bottom here through another standoff. We run it up and then just pass it a couple of times around this little improvised cleat. It holds it perfectly tight. So here's our test piece of foam. And uh, just for giggles, just to illustrate everything, I'm just going to make a little squiggle here. And we'll just cut that out just to illustrate how it works. So we turn the transformer on. The wire heats up basically instantly. Um, and we just, uh, we just run it through. And we'll just kind of guide it right through here. I'm obviously not taking a lot of care here because I'm really just sort of showing you how the whole thing works. And we run it through. Now, you should be using a gauge 18 string on this. I only have a gauge 11 on here. You can see that it still works fine, but it doesn't really carry the heat as well as a gauge 18. And the gauge 18 is a, a good bit thicker, so it also helps out in that regard. And you can see, there we go. Not much of a demo. Um, another cool thing is because everything's nice and square, if you want to book match pieces, um, just run them through again. And of course, you can clamp guides and anything you want to make sure you can make this repeatable. And that's the whole deal. It's just that simple. It's hot wire. It's a wonderful thing. So we'll turn this off. And another nice thing is that the wire cools down almost instantly. That's that, folks. Hope you build one. Bye.